Hey, welcome back again to the tutorial and now today we are going to see about Log Analytics Workspace. In this tutorial, I will walk you through in configuring Log Analytics Workspace using Azure Portal. And then uh, we will spin up a Windows Virtual Machine. And uh, followingly, we will configure data source to stream application logs from Windows Virtual Machine to Workspace. And once the, the application logs landed on to Workspace, I will show you some basic queries and um, it'll help you out how you can work with the results. So without wasting time, let's just quickly jump on to the next slide. So before we uh, jump on creating the log analytics in uh, Azure portal, let's understand the need for log analytics workspace. Let's say you have a virtual machines, Windows virtual machines, and then you have your application logs and even lag logs onto the virtual machine and you want to stream those logs into a resource where you have the facility to query them and then um, you know do all kinds of inspection and not only windows virtual machine you can also inspect you also wanted to inspect the on-prem machines and also the other uh, aspect is to stream logs from azure sql database or sql server in that scenario, you can actually use Log Analytics Workspace because with the help of Log Analytics Workspace, you can stream the application logs and event logs. And the point to remember here is you cannot stream security logs. With the help of Azure Sentinel, you can, however, stream security logs. So with the help of Log Analytics Workspace, you can only use application logs and event logs or some any other performance metrics in Linux or Windows machine and syslog or even ISS. So you will get to know more about the log analytics workspace when we go and create this instance, this resource in Azure portal. So let's quickly jump on to Azure portal and start configuring log analytics workspace. So as you can see that um, currently I have logged into my um, Azure portal using the free account and you have to remember something um, in the free tier in log analytics workspace you have a data cap of 500 MB per day and you have only seven days of free data retention so it is basically intended for only testing or some you know low level POCs and don't use that for a production kind of um, environment the first thing first is you have to go on to the search bar and just type log analytics workspace and then you can see this popping up click on that and just create log analytics workspace by clicking on the create button and then let's close this slide and then i already have my resource group uh, which is log analytics and you can just give like uh, any name that you like i'm gonna give it like windows virtual machine windows and then the region it's actually not that important you can actually configure in any region and make use of it it does not have any dependency on the region where you want to you know stream those logs so it's a very independent of uh, the region so let's do review and before that you just have to go to the pricing tier and since i have a free tier i'm gonna i'm having this pay as you go for GB 2018 and then uh, if you want you can add a tag I'm not going to do it so let's do a review and create and as you can see from here the subscription is free trial so once this uh, resource is provisioned I will again uh, resume the video back so as you can see that uh, our deployment is complete let's click on to the go to resource and uh, this is the interface of Log Analytics workspace that we just created. So uh, we have to do another thing uh, here is we want ideally uh, what we are planning here is to create a Windows virtual machine and have those application logs stream to Log Analytics workspace, right? And uh, to do that, we actually have to create a Windows virtual machine. So I'm going on back to the dashboard and click on Windows Virtual Machine. And if you're not familiar with how to create a Windows Virtual Machine, I, ha I have a video already made and I'll put that link in the description or on the top right corner. So I will resume the video back once my Windows Virtual Machine is proficient. 
So my uh, Windows virtual machine has been provisioned and you can see that your deployment is complete message here. So let's click on to a resource and then um, to your left hand side you have something called extensions and under the settings blade and uh, yep I can find that and you can see that there is no extensions being installed here. And the reason I want to bring this up is because Log Analytics Workspace actually needs a, a monitoring agent to be installed onto the Windows Virtual Machine box in order to stream the logs to its workspace. So let's go and find out how to configure that agent. So let's go back to home page and click on to Log Analytics Workspace into this Virtual Machine Windows Workspace that we just created. And when you go on to your settings, on to your left hand side of the blade, you can see something called agent management and click on that. You will have a two option, one for Windows servers and one for Linux servers. So what we have to do is we have to download this agent and then manually install it onto the virtual machine. And you will probably need to grab the workspace ID because it you require that and as part of the installation and you can also grab the primary keys so let me pause on this video and then just download this uh, file onto my virtual machine and i will resume the video back and i will walk you through how to go through that installation so as you can see that you know i have mapped up my local drive to uh Windows virtual machine that we just created and uh, this is the exe file just click on it and just say that open and then it will pop up the installation wizard just click on next and then uh, I agree and then next and then you can say that uh, enable local collection here and then you can just click next and yes, we don't want any Microsoft update and just click install so this will install the Microsoft monitoring agent here in this virtual machine. So this is a, a manual way of setting up your agent and it is a lot of hassle because you just have to you know download and then install um, into the virtual machine. Let's say you have like multiple virtual machines and then you don't want to go ahead and do this manual configuration. So for that we have a, a, a facility in Azure portal where you can just do it all these things by a click of a button. So let me go back to Azure portal and uh, show you how to do that. As you can see that you know we are again back to Azure portal and click on to the log analytics workspace and this is the one that we just created the uh, log analytics workspace and then go back to all the way down. And you should have an option called workspace data source and then you can click on to the virtual machine and there you go you have your uh, windows box that we just created previously so click on to this and all you have to do is just click this connect button and wait for it to get connected so what in what it's doing in the background is it's going to go and install the monitoring agent onto the virtual machine for us in the back end so we don't have to do any manual installation. So let me pass on this video and resume it back and then we will verify whether the extension is available in Windows Virtual Machine. Okay, um, it looks like you know uh, the Log Analytics workspace has been successfully connected to the Virtual Machine. As you can see from the notification, let's go back to the Virtual Machine and quickly confirm that uh, if the agent has been installed on the extension blade so go on to your settings and then you click on extension and you should see this um, extension being installed for us and you can see that it says microsoft monitoring agent so the next of the thing that we have to do is let's go back to um, virtual machine and i want to show you something so just go on to search and just type event viewer and what we are planning to do here is to actually stream all those application service log back to um, log analytics workspace so how are we going to do is is to go and configure that so let's move on to log analytics workspace in azure portal and let's start doing that so click on to log analytics workspace again 
click onto the virtual machine log analytics workspace that we created it and then go back to all the way to um, custom logs and I forgot to tell you something like instead of just you know streaming the application logs and the other logs that I talked in Windows virtual machine you also have a facility where you can also configure custom logs let's say that you have um, nginx or iss anything you know like outside the windows box that you want to also stream that you all you have the facility to do that by going on to custom logs and you just have to click add custom log and you have to give them a sample um, log file so we will do it if we have uh, time but let's just go back to uh, log analytics workspace and configure the application logs from the windows virtual machine to stream on to this workspace now so you have to click on to the agent configuration and you can see that you have an option for windows event logs in windows performance counter and you can also do it for linux performance and as i told you you can also do it for syslog and iss logs so for now let's go on to windows event logs and click on add windows event log and then we can click on the application log and you can change the logger level to error warning and information let's just for the sake of demo i've just checked in all the logs that i want and let's move on to uh, windows performance log and then click on add performance and let's say if we, we want to see the available memory on the box so let's click on to the box and you can see that mem memory available bytes so let's click on to that and the sample rates you can just type whatever you want and for now let's just click on apply and this will update the agent configuration and hopefully it will collect all the locks and uh, once it is collected um, we should be able to see some locks inside uh, this um, blade which is under the general let's click on this and this is the dashboard we have and you know like right now it's uh, we are only having heartbeat table but after some time once all the logs from the windows virtual machine is being streamed on to log analytics workspace we should see a couple more tables and uh, i will just pass on this video let's just you know resume it back once all the table is being streamed up here so after uh, a good span of like half an hour, uh, I'm going back to log analytics workspace and let's see that if our performance table or even tables are being uh, populated here. So let's go on to general blade and then click on logs and just close this panel. And uh, as you can see that you have this uh, perf table and I'm not sure maybe it takes more time for the event log table to be populated, but let's just click on this and uh, let's just do a small query to just populate everything in here let's just click run okay it just failed out i don't know what let me rerun the perf table so i reran the perf table and now you can see that you know um, i'm able to get all the results now so uh you can see all the columns here so let's do one thing let's just write up a simple query where uh, we want to see what are all the files that got created in the last eight minutes so what you got to do is you just have to do a var time generate greater than five minutes you can just change it to eight and then you want to summarize by the count and by the object name and the count name so let's fire this up and see what's happening so click on run and you can see that you know it returned a result where memory equal to seven the count is seven so let's do one more time uh, by just grouping up with the computer name. So this is the query where again you are uh, doing same by time generated greater than eight minutes and then summarize and you have an average function by the counter value and you are just doing by computer. So let's click on run and let's see what it's throwing up and you can see that you know it is uh, retrieving from the Windows virtual machine that we just connected our workspace to it so you can see this computer name as windows box triple two and you can see the average count value and that's that's how guys uh, that's how you configure your application logs to the work log analytics workspace and this is the query editor that you want to you know play around and uh, that sums up uh, our pretty much our tutorial and if you like this 
tutorial just please give me a big thumbs up and if you have any other questions or query please feel free to put it on the down in the comment section and i'll catch you up next week thank you